Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a gym. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Watch until the very end to see where the gym gets placed in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the gym. And here are some of the materials that we will need to make the gym. Not only will we need this double chest filled with stuff, but we will also need these materials as well. Begin by placing two red concrete in a row on the ground. One, two. Extend backwards by one. And then dig two rows in the ground extending right and place sea lanterns in there. Next to this, place a grey concrete, dig two more rows to the right, replace those with sea lanterns, and then on the end place a grey concrete. We then want to extend backwards by one, and then dig in the ground to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. And replace all of that empty space with smooth stone. To the right of the smooth stone, place a grey concrete, extend forwards, dig right by two, one, two, place sea lanterns in that empty space, a grey concrete to the right, two more rows of sea lanterns in the ground, and then a red concrete to the right, extend forwards, right, and then extend backwards by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We then want to extend across the back of the build by 1. Dig two rows in the ground to the right and replace those blocks with smooth stone. Then place a red concrete. Dig two more rows. Replace those with smooth stone as well. To the right of this, a red concrete one row in the ground, which will also be smooth stone. Right of this, three red concrete, one, two, three, and then dig to the right in the ground and place a smooth stone. And then place a row of red concrete that extends all the way over to the right, lines up perfectly with the very front of the build, and then simply just connect front to back like so. Next, we are going to take this opportunity to remove all of the grass inside of the ground floor of our gym. Next, we are going to place two rows of red concrete, one extending from one side of the entrance and the other extending from the opposite side of the entrance. This will divide the area of the gym into three uneven sections. 
We can then fill the left and middle sections of the gym in using quartz bricks. However, the right side is a little bit more complicated. On the right side of the gym we will first of all place sea lanterns extending behind the rows of smooth stone. Then place grey concrete in between the sea lanterns both in the ground and then behind this red concrete here and we also want to add a row of grey concrete that sits along the right side of the gym inside of the row of red concrete. You can extend this up an additional row to represent the fact that this shall eventually be a wall. The reason that all of that was important is that we are now able to add three rows of white concrete along the back of this floor section. One, two, and three. And at the front, we can add just one row of white concrete, connect the white concrete together, left and right like this, front to back, then we want to remove the floor inside of this rectangular shape and replace it with your material of choice. I'm going for blue concrete. Then along the back here we are going to place a smooth stair in the center and sideways stairs left and right so that we have a nice set of steps and eventually this will be a pool which we shall fill in later. Next we are going to work on the front of the gym. Come all the way over to the left hand side and extend each one of these four red concretes up by three. One, two, three. And do the exact same thing on the right hand side. One, two, three. Next, we want to place a row of grey concrete that extends from the inside of our pillars and connect left to right like this. The significance of this is that we are now able to connect the grey concretes between the windows upwards to make separations for all of the windows and even the entrance. Speaking of which, we can extend these grey concretes backwards. Then we can actually just straight up make the entrance. So first of all, we'll just extend a row of grey concrete across the top like this and a glass block along the inside of the rows of grey concrete on the left and right, then glass pane along the inside of the glass block, and end rods suspended in front of the centre glass panes, like this. Next, place a row of smooth quartz block in front of the horizontal row of grey concrete that we have in between our two red concrete pillars. Then, place a row of smooth quartz block that extends in front of the width of the doorway in the centre of the build, like so. Then we want to place a row of upside down smooth quartz stairs that starts here and extends around and we could even use smooth quartz slabs for the middle bit but the idea is that, that we have upside down smooth quartz stairs that just start to the right or to the left of the smooth quartz block row and extends inwards towards the center and then we can actually use slabs for the middle part just as a bit of a different material and we also want to connect these blocks down to the ground using polished black stone wall. So leaving a gap of one in front of the rows of grey concrete, we want to place the polished black stone wall. And that's looking pretty good. Next, we are going to further increase the size of the two red concrete pillars. Add a row of four red concrete on top of each one of these four red concrete blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, we are going to add in all of the windows to the second floor. This is really easy because the windows on the second floor are directly above the windows on the ground floor. However, they have a red frame rather than grey. So we extend the rows of grey concrete in between the windows up 
and across to the pillars and each other. So this row of red concrete here sits directly on top of the frame. The same on the opposite side of the entrance. The center window is larger than all of the others, as you can see. And then we simply just need to add another row of red concrete here, and this will mark out the windows nicely. So all we now have to do is fill all of these windows in using our glass block. And then on the front of the build, we want to extend the rows of red concrete in between the windows one row forwards like this. So we will end up with this, which we then want to place upside down smooth quartz stairs in between all of the tops of the red concrete pillars in between the windows. And we also want to place a layer of smooth quartz slabs in front of the upper half of these stairs and we want to extend left and right one just like this. And ultimately the roof itself will also be made out of smooth quartz slabs and these slabs will sit above and around the outside of the top of the building. So we have this really cool layered effect like this and it's a little bit easier just to see what we're going for from the bottom. There we go, so we have this really cool sort of depth effect with all of the various smooth quartz blocks. Let's make the sign. So the sign sits directly above the door. We have a row of one, two, three, blue concrete on top of the center part of this overhang above the door, extend upper row, place sea lanterns left and right of the blue concrete, and iron trap doors along the top of the sign. We also want to add lanterns, by the way, just in front of the left and right side of the entrance. And now we have to make some banners. So throw down the loom, open it up, and place a white banner in there with some black dye. The first letter we have to make is G, so that is the pale sinister pattern. Throw white dye in there, and apply the perfess pattern. Throw a black dye back in, apply the base pattern, Pale Dexter, Chief. Next is Y, so that is the bend pattern. White dye in there. We then want to place the Perfess inverted pattern, put black dye back in, and apply the bend sinister pattern. Next will be M, so we want to do the inverted chevron pattern, put white dye in there, apply the Chief indented pattern, Black die back in, Pale Dexter, Pale Sinister, and there we have Jim, which we just applied directly to our blue concrete. G, Y, M. Just like this. Next, we are going to do some landscaping in front of the gym. So the first bit of this is digging out the pathway that leads all the way from the edge of our grid all the way to the entrance. So we dig out these five rows and replace those five rows with smooth stone. We then want to dig two rows in front of the gym on the left and right side, like this. So we dig two rows leading all the way to the red pillar and then just one extending towards the outer part. And then we can just fill this in with smooth stone and do the same to the right side. So we start off initially with two rows and then dwindle down to one as we reach the outer part of the grid, replace all of it with smooth stone. On the left and right side, we are doing the same thing, creating some car parking spaces. So first of all, let's just straight up remove all of this, this part. Then extending from the pathway, Outwards, we place a row of white concrete powder, two rows of grey concrete powder, a row of white, two rows of grey concrete powder, a row of white, a row of oak leaves, extend up, and then just fill the rest of this area in using smooth stone. Then Add some yellow carpet towards the ends of the car park bays, like this, on top of the grey concrete powder. And then do the exact same thing all the way over here on this left side.
Next, we are going to fill the right wall of the gym in using red concrete. We simply extend the row of red concrete that we have at the base all the way up to equal the height of the red concrete on the front of the gym. And then we come all the way over onto the opposite side and do the exact same thing. On the back of the build, we first of all want to add a row of grey concrete along the inside of the rows of red concrete. We then want to extend all of these grey concretes up by three. One, two, three, one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then connect them all together at the top, just like this, which then, on the outside of the build, we can add a layer of red concrete to. For the second story of the build, we want to add a central window. This is slightly smaller than the one that we have on the front. Begin by placing a row of one, two, three grey concrete above this window here, and a row of one, two, three grey concrete above that window there, which we then just want to fill in between, in with glass like this. We then want to add a row of red concrete above the window that we have just made, and extend the red concrete all the way over to the left, and all the way over to the right. We then just want to fill these giant sections in, using red concrete like this. And we also want to add a row of red concrete that extends up the left and right side. It kind of creates these pillars which are similar to the ones that we have on the front. We also have to exchange these quartz bricks for sea lanterns, and then we can actually just add all of the windows on top of our sea lanterns, extending all the way up like this, just using glass block. I think that we may even exchange this row of red concrete that sits above these windows for a row of smooth quartz, and then we can have a similar effect as we have on the front, a row of upside down smooth quartz stairs that sits in front of this and just off to the side as well, so we get an interesting effect like this. Next, a bit more landscaping. We want to have a row of smooth stone path that extends all the way around the edge of the gym. Then, on the remaining white concrete of the grid, I'm going to place a layer of oak leaves. And then just along the back, another row of leaves on top. With the outside of the gym complete, we can now head inside and work on the interior. Begin by placing a blue carpet, leaving a gap of one behind each one of these glass panes. Join them together and add two more rows extending back, one, two. Behind the blue carpet, we want to place a row of smooth quartz stairs, and behind it, an upside down row. On top, a regular row, upside down, regular, upside down, regular. Join to the back of the gym using a row of grey concrete. We then want to extend the grey concrete rows left and right of the entranceway, one row backwards, like this. Then, leaving a gap of three, one, two, three, this coincides with the blue carpet, we want to place two more rows of grey concrete, like this, to create a wall. They want to equal the height of the grey concrete behind the stairs, and also the two rows here. And we want to do this on the opposite side also. Perfect. 
We then want to join the grey concrete forwards and backwards to make doorways just like this. We also want to add grey concrete just extending forwards like so in front of and around the stairs and we also want to make sure that we can still get up and down the stairs so we want the minimal amount of space so we should have an area that just if you can see the stairs like this from the second floor then that's as much space as you need you can't have any less you can have more but i think it's a bit of a waste of space add some glass pane around the top of the stairs like this and then we can simply fill all of the remaining space in using grey concrete In the entrance area, we also want to add some potted plants in the form of a brown terracotta with an oak leaf on top. This is just in front of the back pair of windows like this. We then want to add lanterns left and right of the stairs, just like so. Next, we are going to work on the pool area. So first of all, we just have to fill this wall in using grey concrete. Then we are going to add a small hot tub in the back right hand corner. So we essentially have to have a 2x2 two two square in this corner surrounded by spruce trap doors like so. And then we can remove the center and then fill it in using water. And whilst we have the water out we can also fill in the pool. Just like so. Then we want to add a shower in the corner. So this is an end rod extending down from the ceiling iron trap door underneath, a row of glass to the left of this, and then glass pane extending outwards like so. Moving over to the opposite side of the gym, we first of all want to add a row of grey concrete directly along the inside of the far wall, like this. Then, along the back of the space, stick a furnace in the corner, detector rail on top, and a polished black stone stairs above that. Then, two red concrete extending right of the furnace, brewing stand on top of one, flower pot on top of the other, item frames above these, and then two rows of bookshelves stemming from floor to ceiling to the right. Then in front of this, leave a gap of one and place a row of red concrete extending to the left, leaving a gap like so. And then... We want to fill our two item frames in with two different kinds of potions, add two more item frames to the top of the bookshelves with different boots. Next, place an armor stand in front of each one of the two bookshelves and kit it out with some Neverite armor, only because I think that it kind of looks like gym gear, except maybe the Neverite helmet. I'm not quite sure why you might need a helmet in the gym, unless you think you might fall off of the treadmill. <laughs> we are also going to place a bunch of candles along this counter space which can be interpreted as a great many things, some energy drinks or maybe some pre-workout or some other fancy supplements. I'll let you guys be the judge. And then place a row of blue carpet in front of this counter space and we now have to figure out where all of the seating is going to go. So it's rather simple. In front of the end of this blue carpet we leave a gap of one, smooth quartz stair. Leave a gap, smooth quartz stair. End rods in front, smooth quartz stair on the opposite side here, blue carpet on top, there we go, nice and simple. I'm going to stick a lantern just here as well, just for a little bit of light, and along this wall I just want a bunch of paintings, so three in total and I want all of the one by twos. So I would prefer a bit of symmetry, that is, that is very upsetting, so basically what I'm looking for is, here we go, so Pinocchio in the middle. Man in black on the left and right, that's perfect. With the entire ground floor made, we can now head upstairs and work on the next part of the gym. The actual gym. First of all, we will make exercise bikes. One in front of each of these windows. You may notice that these exercise bikes will look exactly the same as every single one of my other bikes. So, the positioning is simple. Leave a gap of two in front of the left side of the windows, one, two, and then place an iron bar. Against this, an oak sign, 
oak trap door left and right of the site, flipped up. And we also want the same trap doors on the opposite side as well. Then simply place oak fence above the front pair of oak trap doors and there we have a bike slash exercise bike. Do the same in front of this window. Perfect. Along the back wall facing the bikes we want to leave a gap of two one, two, and then place a row of three ladders extending up this wall. Leave a gap of one left of this and place a row of three open oak fence gates next to the ladders. Leave a gap of one in front of the oak fence gates and the ladders and place a row of three blue carpet, which we then want to extend two rows forwards towards the bikes. You'll notice that this is centered nicely. Next, we want to make some punching bags, but first we have to place a row of smooth quartz slabs along the top of this wall, and then extend the slabs one row inwards, like this. Then we are able to attach chains to these slabs that coincide with the left side of this carpet and the right side of this carpet, and then place two red shulker boxes extending down from those chains. Perfect. Next, we will work our way onto the opposite side of the gym and begin by placing treadmills. One in between these two windows and one in between these two windows. Place a light grey concrete with a backwards faced polished blackstone stairs on the top, a one by one painting in front of the stair with two black carpets extending in front of the light grey concrete and oak trap doors left and right of the black carpet. We then leave a gap of two and then do the same thing. Perfect. Against this wall we will place some workout benches, so leave a gap of one, black bed, gap of one, black bed. Then some weights, Leave a gap of one and place three, one, two, three white concretes with wither skeleton schools on top and also in front like this. Leave a gap of one from the schools and place a three by three square of blue carpet in front just like this. Then a black bed extending from the center of this carpet area towards this back wall. We then want to place a lever left and right of the bed with an end rod above the bed, horizontal like this, and with a skeleton schools left and right of the end rod. And then lastly, we are going to build a cage around this using oak trap doors. The oak trap doors are going to be three rows high like this, and flip up on top of each other on the right side, and we want to do the same here on the left side as well. And then all we have to do is just connect them together across the top, and there we have a weightlifting gear. Last but not least, let's add an upside down row of smooth quartz stairs along the top of the back of the gym like this, and then a layer of smooth quartz slabs that extends all the way above and around the outside of the top of the gym. And then we can fill the entire top of the gym roof in using smooth quartz slabs.
And that is it ladies and gentlemen, we have officially completed the gym tutorial. However, this video is not over, we must now add our gym directly into our city. I think that you guys are probably gonna be tired of hearing me say this, but once again we have got to add the gym into the modern suburbs. It will just fit in so nicely here, it's actually the perfect size to go right next to the donut shop and honestly is there a better place for a gym right next to a donut shop and also opposite a pizza hut it's a match made in heaven and that's it ladies and gentlemen i do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are looking for more things to add to your minecraft world then look no further than the mini city build playlist down below in the description as of recording this video we are over 70 tutorials strong that will keep you busy for a very very long time Once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Good. Bye.